this video, we'll show you how you can combine email and SMS notifications. We'll start by sending an email to confirm an appointment, and then we'll send an SMS appointment reminder on the day of the appointment. Let's start in our SendGrid account by creating an API key. Head into SendGrid and go under Settings to API Keys. Hit the Create API Key button and give it a name. Go to Restricted Access and scroll down to where it says Mail Send and expand that and click on where it says mail send. Scroll down and hit the create and view button. Copy the key that appears here and store it in an environment variable. Next, from your Twilio account, you'll need the account SID and auth token that you can find in the Twilio console. We'll also need a phone number in our Twilio account, so head over to the phone number section into buy a number and search for a phone number in your area code. I'll search for 215 and buy this first Philadelphia phone number that I find and go into phone number setup and we're good to go with our phone number. Copy the phone number from here and save it somewhere safe for later. Our application will use Agenda for task scheduling and that requires a MongoDB installation. There's instructions down in the description below the video for how to install MongoDB. Inside of a Node.js application, we're gonna run npm install to install the SendGrid helper library, the Twilio helper library, and a library called Agenda that we use to schedule tasks. So run npm install to install the three of those. Once that's done, I'll create a file called app.js, which will hold all of our application logic, and then I'll open it in a text editor. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever you like. The first thing we'll do in this file is bring in our SendGrid helper library and set the API key for our SendGrid API helper to the API key that we got earlier inside of our SendGrid account and stored in an environment variable. Next, we'll initialize our Twilio REST client helper, and you're gonna need the environment variables to be set, the Twilio account SID and Twilio auth token that I mentioned earlier for this to work. Next, we'll set up Agenda, which will do all of our task scheduling. We can run tasks with Agenda, we can schedule tasks to recur with Agenda, or we can schedule tasks to occur at a specific date and time. This requires a MongoDB connection string, so we'll set that to localhost slash tasks, and then we'll initialize the agenda object itself by setting up its DB, passing in the address to the MongoDB, and specifying the collection that we want to use inside that DB. I'll call it my schedule. And then we'll tell it to process new tasks every 30 seconds, since we're going to end up being more than 30 seconds for the tasks that we schedule. This is how it knows when to check for new tasks. Speaking of new tasks, we need to define our first task inside of agenda. So we'll call agenda define. Then the first parameter here is the name of the task. We'll call it appointment confirmation. This takes a job and a done. The job in this case will be able to pass in the email address that we want to send to in some attributes for the tasks. So we'll pull, pull the email address from job.adders.data. So that's the email that we'll send to. And I'll send it from my email address from my SendGrid account. We'll set the subject line to indicate that this is an appointment confirmation. And then for the body of the email, we'll just say, you have successfully made an appointment, don't forget that it's coming, and hey, by the way, we'll send you a text message on the day of the appointment. Our email's ready to go, so we'll use the sgmail helper library to send the message out to the user's email address, and then we'll call done on this task so that Agenda knows that it's been fully processed. Now let's get Agenda running and send our email through it. We'll start with an async anonymous function, and inside of here, we'll call agenda.start. This will fire up the Agenda task scheduler. And then we'll use it to send one task now. We'll call the appointment confirmation task, and we'll pass in an object containing the email address. These are the attributes that I mentioned before. So for the email address, I'll pass it brent from twilio at gmail.com. Then we'll execute our anonymous function and add a catch block just to catch any errors that might have happened in any of the other areas of the code. So if that happens, we'll just log out to the console that there's been an error. Inside your terminal, run node app.js to run the file and then head over to your email client to check to see if it's there. There's our email and it has the confirmation text that we specified in the text body. Okay, let's define a second task. This one is going to send an SMS reminder on the day of the appointment. So we'll call agenda define again. This one will give it the name appointment reminder. We'll once again pass in the job and done into this closure. 
Inside of our appointment reminder task, we'll use the Twilio REST client object to call messages.create. Here we'll pass in the phone number that we'll pass into the job, grabbing it again out of job.adders.data.phone number. For the from phone number, this will be the phone number that I told you to copy earlier out of our Twilio account, the one that we purchased. Then we just need to specify a body for our message, which will remind our recipient that they have an appointment today. When our message finishes sending, we want to call done on the task so that the agenda knows that it's finished. The next step is to schedule our task with agenda, and we'll do that by calling agenda.schedule. Now, rather than waiting a week to send this reminder, I'm gonna schedule this to occur two minutes after the email confirmation was sent out. So we'll call in two minutes and then pass in the appointment reminder task. Then we just need to pass in the phone number that we need to send the message to. I'm gonna grab that out of an environment variable that I have stored that has my cell phone number in it. So process.env.my underscore phone underscore number. That'll get my cell phone number so I don't have to display it on screen. With all of that code ready to go, we just head back to the terminal and run node app.js once again. Then heading over to my email account, I can see that the appointment has been confirmed. And then two minutes later, my phone will light up with the text message. There it is, and you can see that the timestamp checks out as two minutes after the email was sent. That's all for this video. If you've enjoyed it and you wanna get the code, it's down in the description below. Also, check out one of these other videos appearing on the screen right now if you wanna watch more.